This will be the first time my brother ever cut my hair. Wow, And I've been doing this 19 years. That's bad. I've seen it a lot of times in 19 years. When he was first learning to cut hair, before he even went to school, I tried to get him to come up to Dayton and go to that barber college at that uh, building we used to own. And I said, Rocky, we'll get an apartment together for a year and we'll make some wild memories. It's a good thing he didn't because then there wouldn't be no Nola, Logan, Maverick, or Blue oh. Rock. That would change the whole outcome of everything. Yeah. Might have married him some nice tattoo to grow up in Dayton and just stayed there and never came back down home except to visit with me. So you, you start off with one, fade you up a little bit, pull her on top? Yeah. Yep. Let's do it however you think. You want to wax those nose hairs or anything like that? Or? Nah, I'll pluck them with a tweezer. Yeah. We don't have anything to do that with. I was just asking. <laughs> we used to. Ben used to do some waxing. Hey, you mean? Yeah. I've never been waxed. You know you about that. Put that stuff up in there and beat <laughs> I'm like, whoa. Freshen me up that way I go back to the tip city. I'm like, what are you doing? 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 I got a couple of long distance covers. There's a guy coming from up there in Elizabeth Town every two weeks. Like the flavor. Not huh? just from a haircut, he owns a storage unit business and he comes down and does some of the footwork and stuff. But you know, still, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of barber shops in from here in Town, so I feel good about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And I, we were part of the little concert series thing that they were doing. And I was like, yep, this is going to be cool. You hear cutting hair and have to go home and take the shower and head right back down here to get on the stage. Mm -hmm. Some of these bars and stuff that's opened up, they do, you know, they have little small stages in them and stuff like that, and they'll have live music on Friday or Saturday nights or something like that. You went out and played yeah, that recently? Oh, yeah. I was part of the, uh, there was a place called Butcher's Club down here, and we were the first band to play it, so that's kind of cool. You know, of course, yeah. I mean, in our lifetime, now, maybe back in the 50s, 60s, they may have had places that did that too, but like, when that place opened up, our band was first to play it, so that's, that's pretty cool, you know. That stuff wasn't open the last time you were here, probably, was it? I don't know. Uh, no. No. I saw them cruising down. I was like, oh, I ain't never seen that, or I don't remember what it Maybe just like sometime last year, I guess it would have been. Yeah. It's for me, really, you know. Did they build that whole building or was it something else? No, it's brand new. Yeah. There's a uh, hotel that's going to be added on to it. And another like high-end restaurant they're going to put in there, a steakhouse or something. Was it attractive from like four minutes? Oh, 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 no, not from here, like from other states. And a lot of Tennessee and stuff like that, you know. Is this the only one in a, in a distance around here? They got something like the men up in Lexington, don't they, Molly? What's it called? Red Mile or something like that? Yeah. So they're all the way up in Lexington, though? Yeah. So it's a, you know, a good hour and a half or something in between before you can find something like that. They've got a little men over at Bowling Green. They got the same thing. The yeah, well, Frankie's the coach. He's right on the Tennessee and Clifton Line. But yeah, I mean, there is a lot of people to go, but it attracts people, don't it? According to the guy I talked to, their traffic supply is a manager. He said when they were getting ready, I guess the procedures they put in, so there were 20,000 vehicles a day off the edge of the lake. Huh. And you wouldn't believe it until you go over there and actually sit for a minute and watch the traffic. It's amazing how much traffic comes off and on that exit. That's good for taxes around here, eh? Huh? Gotta make the city some money, huh? Yeah. I know they put one in the north room there where we live. Uh, next to an old uh, golf course and just I think it was like the old GM motors or Delphi or something. And they tore that down and built a big old casino. Uh, it stays pretty packed. That's just like you said, it's not there's a lot of people that go there, but it's People driving. Oh yeah. Because otherwise, you know, they go down to Cincinnati and get boats or something. Yeah. Now this one, uh, there's no like uh, card games or nothing like that. There's no, you know, roulette table or blackjack table. It's all. It's all video. All video. Yeah, push button. You know, just random. I'll tell you what. We went to one in Atlantic City, and this was like, 2006 or something. And it was not like. Doing the, put the money in and the slot machines. Yeah. And then when we went to that new one, I was like, man, I gotta be like a video game whiz or a computer genius to play these games. I didn't have fun on them as much. Like, people were coming up and so I was pushing buttons, they'd like, no, if you swipe this and do that, it's all like touch screen. And I'm like, ah, uh, I don't really, I just want to pull a lever and let a bunch of money. <laughs> like, so now when I go, I have to go now I'm trying to go to a video game arcade. Do you like gambling and stuff? My gambling is usually buying sports cards packs. 
buy a $15 pack and hope I get something out of it. Yeah, but yeah. I bought a couple of scratch off lottery tickets when we were down there waiting for fitting at the Dollarwood just to give us something to do. But in general, I don't go out to the casinos or anything like that. We went to that one in Northridge because they sent us a free like 30 bucks each or something. Went and lost it in like 10 minutes and left. Yeah. Seems like I drove for a guy and it was right outside of Memphis, Tennessee in 98. <clears throat> Got down there, parked up, he took me and another guy he just hired down to the casino in Tennessee, Mississippi. Handed both of us a hundred dollar bill and said, there, go and go. I, I, I spent a hundred dollars. said, okay, I'm ready to go. Take me back to, take me back to the truck. I'm happy now. Yep. Yeah, I need a little experience if I have. Because that's what I always tell them. My girl's there. I'm like, you ever do stuff like that? Just, you got to have the money to throw away. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You, you can't expect to win. You're, you're playing, uh, paying to play and just have fun. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, if you happen to win, that's one of those neat things where it's a little different than playing your Nintendo at home. There's a chance you might get something out of it. Yep. But probably not. That's how it's set up. They, they're, they're a business, you know? Yeah, they're, they're, they're designed for them to win, not yeah. you to win. Yep. That's the same way, I, you know, when I got those 10 lottery tickets, and, you know, they're dollars tracked off. You know, I got two free tickets and two bucks. And I was like, so see, they gave me four of that back, and they kept six. Yeah. I was like, you know, and I was like, a lot of people would keep on being like, well, I'll go cash my other ones in and spend me another 10 bucks, and maybe I'll hit that 10000 And I, I tell my grandma, Louise, she would, I don't know, 50 or $60 a week on those things. And once a year when she hit $400 or something, she'd be like, oh, I'm doing it. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, how much money have you spent to hit that? The, um, the gentleman that I drove for, he showed me and the other boy that was with me. He, he, he put both of us in brand new trucks. And he showed me him and his wife's W 2 for $10.99 to get the beer. W 2 to get the beer from the casino down there. Yeah. He, he had like $45,000 he had won that year, and his wife was like thirty-five. dollars So for them to win that much, how much had they spent? Yeah. Well, they go there every day. They, they go, they, they been enough and gamble enough. They, they eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner there because they wasn't but like 15 mm -hmm. minutes from there. You know, they, they, they were set up, but now how much, I'm telling how much money he spent yeah. every day there. Yeah. Because he walked over to $600 bill in the machine and just hit, pulled, pulled a lever and, you know, $100 bill, he was nothing. And he choked him a little while. Yeah. I'll tell you that's a minor few out. I think man, I had 30, I think 33 trucks to run in. It had them all leased on the country, so he didn't have to deal with all the different paperwork, all the different money. All he had was just truck payment, insurance payment, payment drivers, because they were all brand new equipment. Mm -hmm. So he was, he was rolling, he was rolling money. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so you got it. I had it like
Six gun city? Six gun city. That's it right there. I told him, I said, years of my life, I didn't know that until about, what, five years ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe four years ago. And we were out in the family, man. It was like so neat to just find that somebody telling you about. Yeah. You're like, because you're like, is this just somebody's like, they put this together and it's in the back of their property? Like, what is this? You know what I mean? Or did I walk into a time court? You know what I mean? And, uh, and then we found, so we get on that grab, and I'm like, what is this? So then you Google map it and start zooming out. And I'm like, oh, well, this is just right across from, you know. Yeah, right and then the I found the road, now we go up there, you know. But as people like me and other people started sharing, like, oh, look, six guys in, we went up there. It, it, the foot traffic has really opened up. There's nobody do that. I don't know. My age, you know. I don't understand why they do work right now. It would be in the summer, you can do good with it. Winter, you ain't going to do much. But summer, you can definitely have a lot of traffic in there. You could have Christmas like that, man, in the wintertime. That's true. Have Santa and all the little events and stuff. That's true. And do something. Even in the winter, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 New year. <laughs> we went on the bird side last year to see their drive through light show. Mm -hmm. What a nice special to me. You know what I mean? A bunch of those little metal frames, they were lots of it. It wasn't nothing special. special. They lined up to get in there. They lined up to the pay big money. Yes. And at the entrance and stuff, they got a couple of little buildings they set up. And there's Santa. And here's one place selling, you know, hot chocolate and stuff like that. And pictures to be made. And they just line up. Come, 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 you know. Fell in. 